Hello Calculus students and general seekers of truth. Welcome to the lesson on power series. So we've talked in previous videos about series in general, about Maclaurin series, about Taylor series, and now we get to our last category here, which is a power series. And um, we'll, you'll find here that these types of series are actually um, very closely related to the other ones that we have learned. So you know, we talked about geometric series before, and it is a series from n equals 0 to infinity of a, some, a is the first term times some common ratio to the nth power, and when you expand it, you get this. And for some special cases, such as if the common ratio is strictly less than 1 in absolute value, then the infinite series is exactly equal to this term, right, to this expression, a equal over 1 minus r. And we talked about this before, and we proved it um, many, many times. Okay? Now, if we expand on this idea, and we use something like a function, so we have a function f of x equals 1 over x. And if you notice here, this function bears very close resemblance to this. In fact, 1 here, you could re replace it with a, and down here, x and r are interchangeable. So we could go a step you know, further and say that 1 over 1 minus x is equal to the sum of all of this right here. a is just equal to 1, r is equal to x to the nth, n equals 0 to infinity, which if we expand this out, this is just 1 plus x plus x squared plus x to the third onwards forever. So what this says is that the function 1 over 1 minus x is in fact equal to this polynomial. So it says something kind of crazy. 1 over 1 of the x is really this. 1 over 1 minus x is this function. And uh, what we're saying here is that somehow this graph is exactly equal to this infinitely long polynomial. And you might say, oh, wait a minute, that can't possibly be true. Well, you'd be partially right. It's not true all of the time. Um, we have to consider the interval of convergence. Okay? In other words, uh, this right here, this expanded series, is exactly equal to this one only if, okay, so the, the, the expression here and the series, this is true only if the series converges. Okay. And uh, we already know that this will only converge, that the, um, the interval of convergence And we've talked about how to find this before, at, at least for this case where it's a geometric series, is when x, the absolute value of x, is less than or equal to 1. In other words, when x is between negative 1 and positive. Whoops, I wrote that wrong. When x is between negative 1 and positive 1, then we can say that the, pol that the infinitely long polynomial and this function 1 over 1 minus x is the same. Okay, that's, that's, that's only true um, for this very small interval between negative 1 and positive 1 right here. Okay? So there's some, there's some limitations here to the power series or to the, uh, the geometric series that we have here um, as far as how it approximates the original function. But uh, rest assured, we are going to expand on this idea, and uh, I will show you how this can apply to some other functions that... Uh, this is somewhat of a trivial example. This function is not too difficult to evaluate values for, but we will take this idea and expand it to other functions for which we may not easily be able to compute its values. All right. Now, if we proceed with this idea, then we have what's called a power series. And this is the definition of a power series. It's a series that takes this form. And let me explain a little bit. Um, x, minus, uh, x minus c here is being raised to the n, so this is sort of like the common ratio, and c is a constant, okay, and c we typically call the center. Okay. 
Now, A sub n, so we, all we're really doing is taking this geometric series and saying that we can shift it uh, to the right or to the left, however much you'd like, by some constant c. And in addition to that, we are going to add on a, a coefficient in the front, a sub n. Okay, a sub n is a sequence, so it's a, it can be any number you want as long as there is some progression or there is some pattern to it. So this is a sequence um, of real numbers. So just so that you get the, an, a sense of what's going on here, if we take a look at this one, this power series here uh, for 1 over 1 minus x, then uh, you know the power series is n equals 0 to infinity. This a sub n is always 1. The center in this case is at 0. Uh, the center in this case is at 0 okay, to the nth. Now, I can take this power series, this, this original one that we have here, and, you know, come up with some variations of it. For example, if I take 1 over 1 minus quantity x minus 1, that means our center here is at 1, okay? The sequence of real numbers here is just all ones. We have, we're not going to deal with that sequence just yet. I'll explain that a little bit later. But for now, this is just all one. And then, you know, we can say that, we can simplify this a little bit further. One minus quantity x minus one is nothing more than two minus x. So the function two minus x is in fact equal to this series. And so the idea is that we could, if we want to construct new power series, we can start with uh, the, the first one that we had here, 1 over 1 minus x, which is really just a geometric series with x as your common ratio. Now you might be thinking, in fact I'm pretty sure many of you are thinking, why do this? Why bother making this up? 1 over 1 minus x is nothing special. Uh, well, uh, I am going to end this video here and start another video that shows you uh, how we can use this basic idea um, to approximate and evaluate functions for which we do not necessarily know exact answers. Be sure to watch the next videos. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.